there's some antelopes in there. We glassed up from about two and a half miles away. With a spotter on them and this big buck. Fast forward to today, got back up in there. Same spot, exact same spot as yesterday. They're staring at us. We're like, okay, we gotta get going. They're starting to get a little bit nervous. Then they just took off. Yeah, I saw them running east. We freaking saw them running off, then we lost them, gone. So I looked on on X. I was on my phone, I'm like, okay, there's a little drainage right over here. Let's sneak over there, get in that drainage. There's a lot more cover. Maybe we can zip down that drainage and get a close shot of them. We're on our way to the drainage and we spot them running over there. And they get in the drainage that we were trying to get to. And they start running, walking out the freaking drainage. And here they come. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, we gotta get to this bush, to get some covers. We're out in the middle of the open. I was laying the prone and couldn't see crap with all this grass. So I just got up and grabbed one of these little trees here. I think it's this one right here. This little V, so I put my gun on that sucker. And he must have seen us and got curious, like, what the heck is that? He started walking towards us, shot him at 77 yards, according to. <laughs> that was a bow shot. You know? <laughs> got that bent horn. We just had a couple bucks over here and one had a big funky antler kind of coming forward and out and then normal on one on the other side but couldn't convince him to shoot him so. <laughs> he was cool but small like pretty small. Yeah he was so, just a little buck. Yeah he was small. He was barely curling above his ear so a little too small. Cool buck though. So moving on? Yep, yep. moving on. Find another one. You got your hands dirty? A little bit. Oh, and your face dirty? <laughs> Did I? Congratulations. Thanks, man. Appreciate you happy it. with it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah. You guys Sweet. gonna head out pretty soon then? Yeah, I think we're gonna yeah. take a quick nap and get something to eat and then cool. head out and see if we can find some more. Awesome. Well, good luck, man. Yeah. Hope you guys get something it. good. Yeah. And Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, man. Glad you guys got you. it done. Yeah, Somebody thanks. Good footage of me chewing my jerky. Mm-hmm. Probably hear it too. Yeah, I hope the sound's picking it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm getting anywhere from like <clears throat> between one and two MOA. Okay. Keeps changing At directions. What? I think the ranger's kind of catching it a little bit here. At there we go. At 500. Okay. So yeah, now that's spinning up to Two and a half, 2.75, three. Jeez. Four. It's a 20 mile an hour wind. We'll deal with it. Yeah, I'll definitely call, yeah, call your shot for you. Call that out. <laughs> yeah. Just spotted, maybe, I don't know, maybe seven or eight antelope, but they're, it, I don't know few miles away they're far there's le at least eight of them there looks like they're maybe kind of going over the hill yeah let's go back and go down this road and try and get closer yeah. <clears throat> well we've got at least one doe bedded over here by herself um, might be some more with her might not be We've got three over here, two are for sure a doe. We're pretty sure the third is a doe too. And two of them are bedded, one's kind of up and walking Gosh, around. Dude, I think the middle one's a buck. You think it's a buck? Well, let's I just don't... drive down the road further and get yeah, a better look. Yeah, I think it is. It we looked... just gotta get closer. That mirage is so bad. Yeah. All right. I mean, it could, the other thing that we know too is that one buck was chasing doves up here. So yeah. maybe he's in the area. Did 
Did the one that we think was a buck, did he move? Nope, still bad, and it's a definitely a doe. It's definitely a doe. Yep. Okay. We could still just follow this road down and yeah, check one going. more time, because maybe there's maybe there's a buck around there. Yeah. Chill out. Freaking cows. Don't go running through the pasture. <laughs> well, uh, we found a group of does. There's a buck with him. We think he's decent, so we're going to back out, come back around on top of the hill, get above him, see if we can close a little bit more distance, maybe on foot. He's right below that road. Perfect. Okay, let's see. I think I've got him marked pretty good. Cool. Goes down, up. Yeah, we should probably get moving though because they're working their way towards that road. Oh yeah, there he is. He's just milling about. Is he good? He's got his head down with this grass I can't quite see. I think, yeah, he's good. He's really good. This is kind of hilarious. Oh, this is way hilarious. <laughs> Freaking walking behind a cow deer. <laughs> okay, I think once we get on this crest right here, yeah, we'll probably be able to see, see him really well. Yeah. What are you dialed to right now? Um, two in a way. Okay. Oh shoot, they're moving. Binoculars freak. Here, take mine. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Can we just move just to like the top of this hill? Yeah. Do you see that spot right here? Here, here, just go off my shoulder. He's 350. A little lower. So, four MOA? Uh, no, like three. Three MOA? Yep. Oh, put the, don't put the barrel on my shoulder. That'll affect your shot. Hang on, he'll stop. The does are stopped to the left. So those does, ah, the does are starting to move again. Wait for him, he'll stop at some point. Four MOA. If, he's, if you shoot him while he's, hang on, the does are stopped, he'll stop. Okay, he's gonna stop. You on him? I'm on him. Okay, good when you are, Evan. Okay. There. Oh, come on, take that bite. You know you want it. There you go, hit that front shoulder. I can't see. Where is he? He's straight, so the, he's just to the left of those. He's walking towards the does. He just does have him. Perfect. What do you dial to? Four. That was like way off. Yeah. Was it way over? It had to have been way over. I heard that. He bolt. didn't even move. He's still in the same spot. Okay, starting to move. You going left? Yep. yep. They're gonna come close. See him? Well, I 
I missed. I don't know, maybe my rifle's off. Maybe I just, I don't know, might have flinched. I'm not sure. I don't think, I don't know, it seemed, it seemed okay, but. Uh, but yeah, the buck ran off this direction, so we're gonna get on the main road, try to intercept him. Where is he? He's sneaking up. Is that him right there? Yep. Man. I'm not sure. Hang on, let me make sure I get a really good range. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice, got him. Mm. He's down. Mm. Oh, oh, sweet. Dude, <laughs> that was a good shot right there. Oh. I put him right down. Right down. That's a relief, man. I felt so <laughs> stressed, man. I mean, honestly, tripod too. On that hill it was just yeah, you a can see. junk show trying to yeah. trying to go prone. Yeah, you might have tried to peek and drop the back Probably. trying to get over that grass and crap. Yeah. Was it 400? No, it's whatever. Let's dial to 275. Yeah, okay. Haha, <laughs> we're under 300. Yes! <laughs> Tell me about the gun real quick. Uh, so this is a Gunworks Blaster. So it's a uh, part of their Skunk Works edition of rifles. It's a, uh, it's a 6.5 Creedmoor. It's got a suppressor on the end of it, a loophole Mark V on it. Uh, and then we put it on the Revic uh, Stabilizer um, Series um, tripod that's also made by Gunworks. Uh, just an awesome setup. Did we have issues with the other one? Couldn't figure it out, not sure. Uh, not sure, well, yeah. so when we were sighting it in, we ended up having to dial down quite a bit and couldn't figure it out, so we waited for the wind to die down a little bit in the evening, went and shot again, then it was the back to the opposite, and so we're having some sort of issue there. Yeah. I mean, you put 20 rounds through That's it true. on steel all the way out to 1,000, so yeah. it's hard to know exactly what went wrong with it. We'll have to kind of diagnose it, but blaster yeah. came through, so. Very perfect. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, we better get to him quick. Yeah. We don't yeah. want him to spoil. We lost him for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> went past him, I guess. Oh, I feel good, I feel relieved. Yeah, excited to do it. I thought we blew our chance, so. So basically just getting the length measurement. You start at the lowest point. Uh, a lot of times it's tough to see right here for the hair, but you're gonna have a little bit of a radius, kind of where it goes over the eyeball. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to take the lowest point in the front, lowest point in the back, and you're going to draw a straight line across here. And that's going to be where you start your measurement for your overall length. So you'll start here, come all the way around the outside to the tip, measure to the eighth. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take that number and divide it by three so that we can get our quarter measurements. Our mass measurement is going to start one at the base and then one at each quarter. And then we'll measure the cutter from the back of the horn all the way to the tip, moving right along the, uh, the edge of that prong on the top edge. Hi, welcome to Antelope Camp. We have a wrap-up show for you. We are so excited to talk a little bit about the prize packs and also about the winners. We're going to announce those for season two Hunt Wars in our Antelope matchup. It was actually a really cool and fun camp to be in. We were down here in New Mexico with Cross Country Guide. We're so grateful for them um, letting us buy the tags and coming out here and hunting with us. Um, let's talk a little bit about the prize pack that these guys were actually going for, and then we'll announce the winners. Um, we've got Nexus Prime Bows for the winning group. Uh, we've also got Mountain Series Striker, Bamboo Cutting Boards, a Chef Kit from Camp Chef. We've got a bivy and a duffel bag system from Canvas Cutter. We've got Mountain Mafia Sleeping Bags, Kafaru Packs, Crispy Boots, uh, XK7 series camo from King's Camo, bow spiders, and dead on displays for the winning team. We're excited to announce the very first of its kind winning team, I should say, for season two. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in the teams now. From Utah, representing Team Utah is Evan Shamborik and Sean Burton. Come on in, guys. Great to have you. Step right up there. And then from Iowa, the Flatlanders, we've got Justin Trees and Jacob Johnson. Come on in, guys. Well, it was awesome. It was a three-day Fast and Furious hunt. These guys actually went out, scouted for a day, hunted hard, and then put down the very best bucks they could find in this three-day span. Coming in, we'll talk about Team Utah first. Evan was the shooter. Sean was the, the spotter. So just to recap really quick before we announce these, our scoring metric is yardage shot, zero to 300 yards was our sweet spot. They got zero point deduction for that. Their shot took place at 275 yards. Your buck was aged at three years old. So we give them double points for that of a total for six points there. And their total gross score of their antelope was 61 and a half inches for a total score of 67 and a half. Okay, team Flatlander, shot their buck from 77 yards. They had a buck that was six, five years old and their total score was 64 for a total score of 74 inches. Team Flatlander wins the first matchup. It was awesome. Thank you so much, guys. It was really cool to see. We are super grateful for everybody. We're grateful for our sponsors. We're grateful for our prize packs. Next up, we've got our elk king of the camp. So we will see you on the mountain.